draft a problem question touching on the principle of invitation to treat in contract law and the hypothetical facts of the state of understand the various stereotype contracts that are issued. So Abro came up with a question on invitation to treat. And the question is that Tony went shopping at spa, I was attracted to a set of brush displayed on the shelf. Tony looked at the price tag of the set of brush and saw that it cost 1,500 naira. Tony went to the cashier's counter to pay for the set of brush. The cashier informed her that the actual price of the item was 4,500 naira, not 1,500. Tony insisted that spa had to sell the set of brush to her at 1,500 as there was a contract between them. Now, an offer is an expression of willingness or readiness to contract to make the intention that it shall become binding on the person making it as soon as it is accepted by the person to whom it is addressed. While an invitation to treat is a mere pre preliminary move to negotiation, which may lead to contract, but which itself is not an offer. So our first issue is whether there is a contract between Tolu and Spa or not. And to identify whether so yes. okay, to identify whether there is a contract between Tolu and Spa, and the principle would be to identify whether there is a contract in this case. First of all, we need to look at whether there is an agreement between Tolu and Spa. Agreement should occur if there is a proposal or acceptance. According to Section 2, Subsection A of the Contract Act 1950, proposal can be defined as when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or to abstain from doing anything with a view to obtaining the assent of the other to the act or abstinence. So our application to this issue is in this problem, an invitation to treat was made by SPA when they displayed the set of brush on the shelves. SPA is inviting customers to make an offer to them. When customers take the set of brush to the cashier's counter, they are actually making the offer. And now it's up to SPA to accept it or not. Price that is not a contract in this situation. It is an invitation to trade. That is, it is inviting the customers to make an offer to purchase, and the retailer doesn't have to accept the offer. And offer is made by Tony when she took this set of brush, which is the price tag, which the price tag shows amount of 1,500 naira to the cashier. It shows Tony's willingness or desire to buy that set of brush at the price stated. That's selling to her at the price. The rules we applied to this are the case of last key versus the economic grocery store, where the plaintiff picked a bottle label turn in the store owned by the defendant. The court dismissed the case holding that there was neither a sale nor an agreement to do, nor an, nor an agreement to sell at the time the bottle exploded. The case of Fisher versus Bell, where the court determined that the display of the plaintiff price on it in a shop window is an invitation to treat and therefore not an offer to sell. And the sale, I'm um, sorry, and the case of pharmaceutical society of Great Britain as was well, put cash chemist where the court of appeal and that the defendant was not in the breach of the act as the contract was completed on payment under the supervision of the pharmacist. So the second issue raised in this case was whether or not the display of set of brush by spa amounts to a valid offer in law. Advertisement does not amount to an offer, an advertisement can either be an offer or an invitation to treat. However, it will be based on intention of parties to make whether like the advertisement actually amounts to an offer or an invitation to treat. The advertisement or an invitation to treat in this situation, it was not an offer to sell, and for there to be a contract, the law says there should be no speculation on the side of the offer. That means uh, like the what's name the contract, the offer must be definite, like there must be <laughs> For an offer to be capable of becoming binding on acceptance, so definitely 